Now we're going to look at glenohumeral horizontal abduction. Just note that horizontal AB and adduction can only occur if the GH joint is abducted in the frontal plane to 90 degrees, and then it is going either towards the midline or away from the midline. We're talking about horizontal abduction, so away from the midline. So the humerus will be moving backwards relative to the, um, the midline. So we see that here going posteriorly. It, the posterior fibers of the, the deltoid muscle are creating this motion away from the midline. In summary, glenohumeral or GH horizontal abduction, which is motion away from the midline, when the glenohumeral joint is abducted 90 degrees in the frontal plane, this motion, horizontal abduction, is uh, uh, the deltoid, the posterior fibers of the deltoid create that motion. I did not put a plane or an axis because it kind of occurs outside of the cardinal planes. Um, some people say the transverse plane, but it, it is better to know this is an additional motion that occurs because our scapular thoracic joint is not attached by bones, but we have muscles attaching the scapula together in the posterior part of our body.